Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We have got a special guest today, and we have got a mayor of Lambeth. We have got a deputy head of a Muslim Police Association. We have got Councillor Mohammed Hashi, a councillor at Stockwell, councillor. We have got um, two councillors coming as well. So we are busy. We have got um, Ridwan Haji Agwale from the VOA. We have got um, Ayan Le Hanolato. And we have got um, Dalka, TV. Dalka TV. So we are very busy. And um, we hope we're going to have a very good iftar today with everybody. OK. <laughs> Thank you, Brother Abdul Musaid. Um, it's fantastic to be here today. Um, I earlier saw Brother Hashi, Mohammed Hashi, one of our councillors, and Brother Irfan Mohammed is here now. Both of them are great advocates of our communities across Lambeth, uh, including uh, mainly uh, our Muslim communities, uh, Somali communities. Um, these two, especially Brother uh, Mohammed Hashi, are great representatives of our community, so make sure you support them continuously. Um, I, uh, I would like to say a few words, as uh, Brother Musa said. Assalamu alaikum, uh, brothers and friends. It is a great pleasure to be with you all in the holy month of Ramadan. And it is wonderful to see so much of Lambeth Somali community represented here tonight. Ramadan is about coming together as we do every evening to break fast. It reminds us that whatever our differences, we all fundamentally share the same needs for food, shelter and companionship. Lambeth people, our communities, come from every corner of the world. But we are united, many backgrounds, but a common future. As Mayor of Lambeth, this is my message. One community, one Lambeth, one London. Only by working together can we overcome the challenges we face. This is why Ramadan is so important. It keeps us in touch with those less fortunate, those who are forgotten easily. In doing so, it reminds us of the importance of going out into our communities and making them a better place for all. Whether this be through fighting for social justice, as Brother Councillor Mohammed Hashi and Councillor Ifa Mohammed does really well on your behalf, or volunteering with local charities, or just simply being a better neighbor. The Friends of the Horn Foundation and this beautiful Islamic center are an excellent example of this spirit, which they maintain all year round. And I would like to thank the organizers for all the work they do in Lambeth and beyond. I hope this can be the beginning of a deeper relationship uh, that strengthens the bond between the Somali community and the Lambeth Council so that we can meet your needs as, uh, as public servants. I wish you all a peaceful and blessed Ramadan. Thank you for inviting us to, to Iftar this evening. Ramadan Mubarak. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mayor. Uh, now I'll give the microphone to um, Deputy and uh, Vice Chair of the Muslim Police Association. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters and thank you very much for inviting me here today. It's um, an absolute honour and pleasure to join you guys for IFTA today. Um, I had a short tour earlier on before you all arrived and um, I'd like to say I'm very impressed with the contributions of the community in, in purchasing such a massive fine building here and I know there's plans to buy the building next door as well. Um, 
What I'd like to say a bit about my role really, so I work at New Scotland Yard, I'm part of the Central Community Engagement Team, so we deal with crime prevention, inclusion, engagement and recruitment for the Met Police. So I deal with things all around London uh, on a strategic basis, so we look at how we're policing, the implementation plans and things like that. But more importantly, um, my other role is I'm the Vice Chair of the Association of Muslim Police. Um, the Metropolitan Police has many staff support associations and actually, believe it or not, the um, Muslim Association is the largest one that we've got in the Metropolitan Police. Um, part of that role is to uh, support our members, uh, to observe their faith, um, to be able to do Salat, to do Ramadan, and obviously when they come across issues, so if they need development, if they've got some blockers or some problems in the workplace, we go and support them, because we understand their needs better than probably anybody else. Um, so that's what the Association of Muslim Police do. Part of my other role is um, recruitment outreach. So it's about giving opportunities to people who may not always consider a career in the police service. So at the moment, the Metropolitan Police are recruiting. So anybody aged between the age of 18 to 57 years old is eligible to apply to become a police officer. So if you have a GCSE, just one in English or maths, then um, you can apply. If you are interested in a career like that, I can come along and give you a bespoke you know, input into how to become a police officer and what the role and the training involves. So um, that's another part of my roles as well, all across London. You also, you also brought a Somali police officer today, lady Somali police officer today. Yes, and um, Brother Musa invited me and um, I'm really thankful that he did actually. Um, and we're very proud of some of the officers that we've got. So today I've brought a sister with me. She's a Somalian sister. She's a police officer. She works in my office. She's doing very, very well for a young in service officer. And I thought we'd be proud to share, you know, her, what she's achieved so far with the community here. So she's downstairs with the sisters. Um, so much of that is achievement for the Somali community. Um, this is an amazing community with a high turnout. And I'd like to thank you for giving the time to come and talk to your congregation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.